Welcome back to another episode of Ballin' With, guys. Let's hop right on into it. Today, we're going to be talking about the Cincinnati Bengals uh, over and under uh, total games this season. I uh, know Joe Barrow's injured. I don't know how long. I uh, didn't really do no extensive research, but he should be out probably first couple of weeks. Um, I thought he was going to be out for the season when I seen him get cart off. That cart just, you know, symbolizes something much more. But when you're on a practice field, they're just going, you know, get you. So you don't got to even work, walk on your stuff. You know, across the whole practice field, just get you out and off to the IR room or whatever, the medical team. But FanDuel says 11 and a half wins for Cincinnati Bengals. Excuse me. They have a great team. I do think the Browns are not going to be no slums. It's going to be a great game. I think everyone's going to pick the Bengals, but I do think they're going to lose week one. I do think they're going to lose week one versus uh, Cleveland Browns. Browns have a great running team. They got a nice defense. Uh, Deshaun Washington is really Deshaun Washington, bro. You can't leave him out like that. He was a top quarterback. Uh, he has Amari Cooper on his team. They have Nick Chubb, one of the best running backs in the league. Cannot discount them. So I do think the Browns will win with the exception of Joe Burrow out. And I do think they're going to lose week two. So they're going to start out pretty – if they start 0-2, they're going to be like, okay, uh, let's see how these next two games, three games win, uh, and then probably come back week five, week six. So let's see how that plays out. 0-2. I doubt them uh, one and two versus the Rams, two and two versus Titans, three and two. They come back and win, test the momentum up. Joe Barrow comes back winning these two games, uh, three and two. I got him going four and two. Be a close game though, so you don't discount the Seahawks out either. I do think the 49ers will beat the Bengals here. Uh, let's say four, uh, four and three. Let's say four and four. I do think the Bills will. Uh, Win this game some way somehow they're gonna pull this out so four and four, five and four. Uh, let's say they let's say they split versus the Ravens. Uh, six and four. They're gonna split versus the Pittsburgh Steelers too. I'm just telling you, the Pittsburgh Steelers are not no slums either. I'm trying to tell y'all this gonna be. I don't see no team really winning twelve games, thirteen games this season. There's gonna be about 10, 11 teams that win, but I don't see nobody getting that high record. I don't think it's the Bengals either. Uh, what's this? Uh, they lost four. They lost. This is about. Th- oh, is it? Three, two, four, 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 five, four, six, and four, seven, and four. Mm, that's a close one. Let's go seven and five. I think they lose to the Jags here. I think they win eight and five, nine and five. Uh, did they lose this one or one? I don't, I don't know where I put them at. Let's say win this one. Uh, ten and five, ten and six. Uh, I do think they are. It's gonna be close, yeah. But these last couple got some two division games with the Steelers and Browns. The Chiefs is not gonna let you, and the Vikings is not gonna let you either. Jags is not let you. You still have the Colts. So the back end of their schedule is pretty tight. They still got a lot of division games. Uh, what still got to do with the Steelers? Finish off with the Ravens and Browns. They had the Jags. They had a couple playoff teams here. I don't know about the Colts, but they're right on that ten line mark, eleven line mark. I don't see them winning that twelve, getting over that twelve hump with Joe Burrow out. Um, that was kind of a quick one. We just kind of went down, so let's hop one more time just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, zero and two, very first two games. They could be one and one right here, and this could be that potential. I, I do think they're going to split with each team in the division. They're not going to just beat them both, I don't think. Maybe the Steelers. 0-2, um, 1-2, and 1-2, 2-2, 3-2, 4-2, 4-3. Okay, 4-3. That's why I might have messed up. 4-4, uh, 5-4, four and 6-5. Four, and four. No, 6-4. Six and five, seven and five. I think I had him losing this one. So six and six. Win seven and six. Eight and six. Nine and six. Ten and six. They're not. They just on that money. When we're looking back at these games, they're not getting over twelve. Even if they do win those other matchups with their division. They got to win those division games. And without a healthy Joe Burrow all season three, I just can't see them winning 12 matchups. So I do have the Cincinnati Bengals under 
12 wins as well, guys. Quick, short, and precise video, just going straight down the line. Um, you know, just looking at the rosters, thinking about the rosters, who got the better team. Uh, but, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We got more NFL videos coming out for the over and unders for every team in the league. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know, Bengals fan, is your team going to win over 12 games? Right on the money with 11 or 10 games right there. Um, let me know if any games I missed. Uh, and let me know if Joe Burrow is really healthy or when he plans to come back. Guys, uh, we got more videos coming out. We're going to do some local high school highlights for local DMV uh, football and basketball games this up and coming fall. High, uh, football high school season um we got more sports highlights we have more sports bets we have more sports challenges we have more uh sport media news everything for the channels guys make sure you tune in we're building the ball and whip brand this this uh year um and look to f looking forward to have you guys there as well guys got a lot of videos dropping soon uh catch you on the next one uh i'm just dropping them all with my steelers hoodie on right now uh, there are in the division, so shout out Pickens and Pickens, black and yellow, black and yellow. Guys, catch you on the next one.